and welcome into your moving parts. And we really mean it. You've got all these parts on your body. You need to get them moving. We have here with us Dr. Michelle Olson, Professor of Exercise Physiology, Auburn University, Montgomery. You've been with us for many years. First of all, we want to say a big thank you because yes. you are the best. I love the way that you understand the way the body works and you can make things just make sense. And that's the important thing in getting people doing exercises for things that make sense. And it, it's, it's, there's a science to it, but you know, the role I feel that individuals like I have in the, in the community and with our, even our academic students is you know, to take all that science and then make it um, user friendly. What's Absolutely. the point? Absolutely. You know, otherwise. So we have, we do, we have wonderful, tremendous amount of knowledge and it's increasing all the time. So what do we do with that knowledge? And you know, we, we, we really need to deliver it to, to different segments of our population to help them do what most people want to do is just, just, just to stay as healthy as they can Absolutely. and have a good quality of life for as long as we can. I mean, I've, I've, I've got two lifetimes to go. My goal, <laughs> my, sure. my right. list That's of right. goals, you That's know, right. I'm, I get concerned well, we know. about you're running a busy, out of time. You're a busy right, right, you know. <laughs> so, uh, but, you, but if you're healthy, you, you know, you certainly can you do, can do, do everything you want. Mm -hmm. Well, last week we started off by talking about the fact that you need to get moving. The basic thing that everybody can do, you've got to do it, no matter what you do in life, is walk. Right. But I want you to tell our audience today about walking as a true benefit for your health. Okay, yeah, great. Yeah, walking is, is, uh, is perfect. It's, um, you know, it's the overall exercise. Um, we all can walk. We uh, walk every day. You mm -hmm. know, we may not walk as far as we would like for everybody to walk, but uh, we do all walk. It's not threatening. Um, it's uh, inexpensive. You can do it anywhere. And, you know, it just really requires that you do have um, a decent kind of a, um, you know, sports shoe or sneaker. You can get right. walking shoes. You can use a running shoe um, if you have running shoes that just you never really used. Um, but, <laughs> you know, tennis playing shoes. Yes. You just need kind of a decent shoe. Um, and then just, you know, different places to go. I mean, you could even, you know, do it in your house. Take a set of stairs, walk from the living room, make a loop through mm -hmm. the dining room. Mm -hmm. um, you know, people really do these things. Mm -hmm. they, do, right. they, do they do. These, they do these things. You ask for tips about, you know, how do you do your walking when it's cold? Um, walkers, they'll find a way, you know, Absolutely. as long as you're moving. So the, th the <laughs> thing about walking is, is it should um, be comfortable. You shouldn't, mm -hmm. you shouldn't feel like um, you're straining and stressing um, and you know, doing all of these very specific fine-tuned techniques um, that you might do if you were you know, an Olympic runner running a race. All mm -hmm. these complicated strategies and whatnot. Walking should actually feel comfortable. Um, some mistakes that I, I do see sometimes when people are walking, actually trying to make it all really tough, um, makes it a little harder on your body than it needs okay. to be. It should feel comfortable. Okay. So let's just talk about a couple of things that everybody good. can do to make your walking feel good. Good. Okay. So one one is if we just spread our, our feet um, apart here about shoulder width and you kind of rock back and forth from your toes to your heels, where you actually want to place your weight is not on your toes but a little more forward on your foot to the midfoot. So you don't mm -hmm. feel like your heels are pushing too hard in the ground. And then I think you'll probably notice with your weight more in your forefoot, you feel that these muscles now are holding your body weight, mm -hmm. right? Sure instead, are. Of, yes. instead of so where? Instead of here, your back. Yeah. right? Yes. So we want more of your weight into these muscles. Okay. These muscles are built to carry your posture, hmm. walking, jogging, standing, mm -hmm. or sitting. So we actually want our weight into more of this, what we call quadricep area. Okay. And your back actually then should feel relaxed. You almost are gonna feel like you're leaning forward. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but if you took somebody on a profile, they'd be stick straight. Hmm. Their joints actually would line up mm -hmm. in a straight line. And then when you walk, you just want a comfortable arm swing, okay? okay? Um, you <coughs> can involve your arms more and you'll expend some more energy, but you yeah. don't really need to make these tight fists yeah. and like you're, you know, boxing somebody <laughs> and make it right. stressful. So it's just a nice it's swing. Nice and okay. Almost and like then, you're waving at your yeah, friends. Yeah, you yeah, hey. <laughs> yeah. How y'all doing? Yeah. Good to see you. That's right. Yeah, 
Yeah. Um, so uh, we encourage the arm swing. Absolutely. We've got okay. arms. Mm -hmm. Let's use them. Um, and then while you're walking, um, avoid, you know, heavy heel, walking back, chest up really high, this kind of military look. Mm -hmm. We're not in the military. We're exercising to enjoy ourselves. So weight forward, nice arm swing, walk so you feel like the weight yeah. Yeah. is yeah. more propelling you forward. You're, you're flowing more. Right. You're, getting you're a flowing. Flow. Yeah. You want to take the next yeah. step and you feel more of a transfer of weight into the large muscles in the front okay. of the legs, mm -hmm. keeping your back, your low back, your pelvis, and your hamstrings relatively relaxed. Isn't it's kind of the idea yeah. of strolling. So that when you're okay. done with it, you're not coming back saying, that was a good walk, but oh, is my back hurt. <laughs> right, and my heel hurts. I'm yeah. slamming my heel. Aren't I supposed to go right. heel, toe, heel, toe? No. no, just glide along, put weight more okay. into the front side of the body. It's something that's really, you know, misunderstood. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's right. really effective if you do it, do it right. It feels good. Right, and then starting off, you should maybe try to go maybe 10 minutes. And you could do 10 minutes three times a day. That's 30 minutes. Perfect. You can accumulate. You can accumulate the minutes. Um, you do 10 minutes in the morning, you have a break at work, a 15 minute coffee break, just walk five, five minutes. That's right. Take five minutes out of that, five minutes to do this, five mm -hmm. minutes to call your kids. Uh, there you've knocked out 15 out of the 30 for the day. You can do it as, you know, a few as five minute blocks. And I love it. One step at a time. Absolutely. Really. Absolutely. Literally. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks. And you know what? We'll talk more next week Good. about getting even more healthy. I Better. love it, and we'll be moving all of our moving parts. Amen. And stay with us, because we'll be right back.